Back our kid, as you might have noticed, I haven't made much for a while, or there's been tons of topics I could have covered as well, and you know I, I kind of jump straight on bandwagon, so to speak, but I've been taking my time more and putting more thought into it, and also a bit of work into myself, so I can make my craft a bit better and up my game, put out good quality videos for you all, so I'm going to show you something a bit different today, it's a behind the scenes, fly on the wall type thing of what goes into this kind of content creation, not necessarily the genre that I'm covering, but content creation in general, like how much research do I do for videos, what compiling needs doing, and I'll explain that as I go through this case. You may have seen me drop this video already, uh, so if you know this subject, that's fine, but next I'll give you an introduction, introduction sorry, to the person and to their TikTok, which is where I compile the clips for this video. So what I'm researching today and what I'm showing you is the story of a man named Andrew Dawson who we believe passed away in December of last year 2022. He began filming around April time, short videos on his TikToks and before this um, his TikTok was you know really random subjects, his kid playing football or him going fishing and all of a sudden he had this sighting. So I've been, my first step obviously step one for me is compile said clips that I'm going to use. So I went straight to his TikTok. His name on TikTok was Andy Cap, spelled with a K, K A P T. I would go and check that out for yourself because I can't imagine this, these posts will be uh, up for much longer if the whole thing turns out it was genuine and it's what it looked like. So my first step was to do that, but I've done that already. So where I'm up to now, um, with the, the little bit of pre work being done, is to put them all in order. Um, the ones that I thought were the most important for the video I made about Andrew and um, to jot down some kind of chronological timeline is what I want to do. So I discovered this story on a channel named Slinged and Stone where they cover like biblical Nephilim and the realm of the supernatural as well. And I just thought this story was so fascinating with a really tragic ending as well. And um, I thought it's something you all might want to look into on a deeper level. So his TikToks were up there. I've compiled them all and now it's just a case of making a chronological timeline of events on what day did he post what and you know how long was he ghosted for. to include this in because it's not necessarily tied to the giant as such spotting it's a ufo that he'd seen in the sky as spotting out to me it kind of looks like the planet x or the description of the winged planet but uh, i don't know i don't know whether to include that or not maybe we'll do make that and if it's in the video great if not pay attention <laughs> to generally me preparing to film the sections. Whether I'm going to do that now or not, I don't know. It'll be done at some point very, very soon. Unless this the, the video has already dropped, in which case you may have watched it and already know the story, so that's why I'm not going too deep into that. I want to go into the production, and then it's how I'm putting these segments together. Clips of me and the clips from Andy's TikTok that I'll be using for the video. I want to show you uh, how that all correlates. Um, once you've let it join, basically it's ready for uploading providing you're happy with i don't do much editing i like a very natural live from my bedroom kind of feel to this thing i try and keep it real with everyone you know I mean? that's what i'm about true so at this point i've developed quite a coherent timeline of events um, so it was April 9th, 2022, his first video went up, which will be the footage of, look, there's a guy on the mountain, you know? And I'd like to know who the person in the car was with him as well, and we don't seem to hear from them again. But three days later, there's a video starts with, we're on our way. You'll see this in the actual video when it gets released. 
Uh, this is our foot on the yard, you see. Number three is that the giant's gone and that his tripod's shaky. He's, he's putting on a tripod because he's got too many complaints about his shaky hand. And then it's the first part of the CIA type video where he goes, look, I've been stopped and told to turn around um, immediately without explanation in a public national park, the Jasper Park in Alberta, Canada. Number six is the potential UFO video where he spotted something in the sky as well over the same mountain range. Um, then there was a four day period and then it was the extraction with the helicopters um, seemingly moving whatever was up there away, like doing some kind of stuff anyway. Then it's the second part of the CIA video which is when they were outside of his house and sped off. Clearly the same vehicle uh, that Tilden's turned around a couple of days earlier. Then there was a one month hiatus which everyone said at the time is strange as he got missing and that was very reminiscent for me of the missing 411 cases which you can see I'm probably going to tie into it. Um, it's the missing 411, basically a ton of people in North America's uh, national parks have very similar and weird disappearances. Obviously there's a lot of accidents and wildlife encounters to factor in as well but the amount of people, the sheer amount compared to the rest of the world is ridiculous. So that's an interesting link in itself, I think I'll talk about that. His next video after his one month hiatus, he comes back and that's the confession where he looks a bit shady saying these videos weren't real and he's looking off to the side and the body language is very telling with his hands in his pockets and crouched over. It's like a prisoner of war almost being uh, tortured for uh, interrogated. Then it's his real confession where he goes, no the guys tell me the real video, these videos are 100% legit, you might not hear from me again. Now the final part is where he saw the, some kind of military base or something up there, a big black, it looked like, like a shed or something, a couple of sheds where they could have been experimenting, I'm, I'm not sure what the script is with it. There's little context with the being, very short TikTok videos, but um, well my, my job really is to compile it all and put it into context for you, but that's how I divide up these sections anyway, so you'll see it, me, Clip, me, clip, me, clip. And I've always gone by that just because it works for me. I keep it simple.